I'm Jamie and welcome to Going Bitty with Jamie. I've got to think of a new intro. It sounds so repetitive. Jamie, 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 Jamie. Oh, that just reminded me of somebody. Let's not go there. Too early in the video. Today we're going to do a little bit of everything. I have in-laws arriving today, so it's like that quick hurry up. So this will be the get ready with me portion. What I want to discuss today is kind of the if I had my own company there's a lot of points I want to make about if I had my own company or brand but I really want to dive into all this hubbub about the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson issues with their palettes it got me thinking when I saw let's start doing my face before I get rambly I'm going first off this is my mystified face this is fresh out of the shower. All I have put on my face is Gerard Cosmetics Mystified. I am an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. I do have a link below. You save money. I'll make a little coin. Everybody's happy if you choose to partake. I am going to go in with my Makeup Forever. I repurchased this. This is one of those golden oldies that I used to love so much. And since I ran out of my Dr. Brandt, let's give this a whirl again so anyway when i saw yesterday that the final episode in shane dawson's series was going to go up today it kind of got me thinking like there's been so much drama going on about hairs or whatnot are they going to include the drama in the series now and if they do, is it going to be a tactic to divert attention away from all the drama going on with supposed stuff found in the palettes? Now, my look today, I am going to be using my Shane Dawson Mini Controversy Palette. And I have gone over this with a fine tooth comb. I have used it a few times. And as you can see, I see nothing wrong with this palette. I don't see hairs. I don't see any contamination. I do have my contacts in. I learned after yesterday's video that I posted that uh, blind makeup for me is not a way to go. It's like I'm going back to, it looked all great when I was blind and I go back to edit and it's like there's the big splotch of foundation I didn't blend in. It was a hot mess, but you know what? I was ranty. So anyway, for foundation today, I do have notes here. I've been making notes because I wanna, this is all my opinion. First and foremost, my opinion, my thoughts, I don't know facts about this because I have not received my controversy palette yet. That in itself is a little bit, it's understandable but upsetting at the same time. Um, update for my Tati palette, I believe it is in my mailbox so I just have to go and get it. I'm going to go in with a bougie, come on focus, my La Mer foundation. Um, like, I understand that shipping can take a while. And I know I'm in Canada, things take longer. A friend of mine, Amanda Bath, you should check out her channel. She won my Violet Voss giveaway. She said Canada Post is slow because it's essentially two beavers pulling a sled. And you know what? I don't disagree. But there are a multitude of things that I'm still waiting on. Um, like, I still have not received my In a Dark Place hoodie from Teespring. My Controversy palette, um, my Tati, if the delivery notification I got via text is correct, just got here yesterday. I ordered that on launch day. You know, it's a little upsetting. So, the biggest thing I think that people are forgetting about this palette, this launch, is they're comparison, comparing it to Jaclyn Hill's lips, Lipstick Gate. I get it. Um, contamination versus contamination. Okay. What people aren't taking into account. I love 
the eyeglass mark um is there's a different scale in my opinion like as far as i can tell i can't find all that many jeffree star shane dawson contamination issues on twitter like there's a lot of retweeting so it looks like a lot but it doesn't seem to be a lot so in my opinion it's like you know jeffree star shane dawson it's like one in every 500,000 has contamination of some sort. Whereas Jaclyn Hill's lipsticks, it was like one in every 500. There was a contamination issue. So that on its, on its own is, there's a big difference there, right? So I am going in with C6 in my Jeffree Star concealer. Um, I'm gonna try this trick. I saw Jen Gerard do it. I'm gonna spray my wand with setting spray. And of course, my usual Slay All Day. Also, you should check out their website because they have a huge Black Friday sale coming out. I'll post details on my Twitter. You're gonna wanna check it out. All of her products I am in love, love, love with. So, the other difference between Jaclyn Hill and Jeffrey slash Shane is Jaclyn Hill's contamination was in a lipstick, by your mouth, meaning you're go potentially going to ingest it. I remember reading a fact once that was quite disgusting, and I can't remember the exact numbers, but it was a fact about how much lipstick somebody eats during their lifetime and it was like gross um so eyeshadow i know contamination is never good nobody wants to use lipstick eyeshadow concealer anything if it's contaminated that only makes sense right but also it's the materials that are contaminating like jacqueline hill's lipsticks were contaminated with metal pieces, animal hair, molds, like gross stuff, really gross stuff. Whereas far as I can see what they're finding in Jeffrey and Shane's palette are synthetic fibers. And I think there was one I saw a piece of a rubber glove which, hey, it's not a fuzzy glove. Let's be happy about that. But I am going to use my Jeffree Star powder. I just realized the other day how good this smells. Usually powders don't really have a smell, so I hadn't given this the sniff test, but it smells like cotton candy. Love cotton candy. I am not a sweet person, but cotton candy, oh yeah. So, I, like, like I said, nobody wants contaminated products of any kind, but I can tell you I would far rather have something contaminated by a synthetic hair or a synthetic fiber versus mold, animal hair, metal shards. But that's just my opinion. No contamination is right. No amount of contamination should be sloughed off it should all be addressed i just think that there's different levels of how much hubbub should be given to it this gets into the if i had my own makeup brand ideas because now if i had my own brand and this was happening i would be addressing it i would be addressing it with the truth with lipstick gate you had lies and stories and shifting blame, everything else. So far, as far as I know, Shane Dawson addressed part of it by asking one of the distributors to help a customer who had received a broken palette. Uh, and Jeffree Star, I think, reached out to T Sesh to kind of address her issue with a broken palette. Um, I am going to do my brows with this rude, outrageous eyebrow pen. That's not a pen, it's a pencil, but whatever. So, 
this leads into the breakage thing as well. Like, people who are blaming JCS, JSC, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, for the breakage are misplacing blame. I've seen how UPS, Canada Post, FedEx, all those people handle your parcels. They are not handling them with kid gloves, right? So part of it is the shipper mishandling product, but a big part of it that I've seen in, in regards to Beauty Bay is the packing of the product itself. You cannot pack a palette with a couple pieces of scrunched up tissue paper and think that's gonna suffice. People are spending their hard earned dollars on things and they are not given the care to ensure that they're getting there in one piece. And what companies like Beauty Bay, Beautylish, Jeffree Star, anybody that sells cosmetics should realize is Cosmetics are a luxury purchase. As much as, you know, I like to think they're a need sometimes, they aren't. So people don't have to be giving their money to cosmetics company, they're choosing to. So tick off enough customers and they're going to choose to not be giving you their hard earned dollars anymore. I'm going to use the Sigma Awake Eye Base just because it worked kind of good yesterday for the look I did. Again, this goes into if I had my own brand. I I would like to have my own distributor. Like I realize that you have to use UPS or whatever, but as far as getting these packages to the people, you need to be packaging these products yourself and ensuring that everything that can be done is being done to get those products to your customers in one piece. Now also, I noticed that there's one shade in particular with the Conspiracy palette that is causing issues. I think it was sleep paralysis. Well, when, if I ever have my own brand, if I'm doing an eyeshadow palette, like this is beautiful, right? Like I love the packaging on this is beautiful, right? What I would do though, is these would be magnetic refillable hands. So that I could also sell singles of these shades. Now what I would do, cause you wanna be business savvy, right? Of course you're gonna sell the palette as a whole first. You're gonna wait a while till people can actually use the palettes and then you'll sell the singles. You don't want people buying singles right off the get go, right? Business wise. So if you ha ever have a situation like this, where say one shade in particular is busted every time or more often the, uh, than the others, you're not having to replace a whole palette. You can pop that out, ship the replacement for the broken shade, Bob's your uncle. Everybody is happy. As a consumer, you've got a fully intact palette. As a business owner, you're not out the whole cost of a palette. You're out the cost of shipping one shade. My thoughts. I'll use cry on my couch as a base. So also, if I had my own brand, if I had a distributor such as Beauty Bay, which is where the majority of the issues are coming from, you would have to think that Beauty Bay makes a fair amount of money off Jeffree Star, right? They're selling his products. They're probably a very big seller for them. If my brand were in it somewhere like that and there was all these issues and I was seeing what's going on, like they're offering people different percentage of refunds. Some people are getting 40, some are getting 45, some are getting 50. And it seems almost like Spill Sesh had brought up. Depends on your following. So if you're on YouTube, you're gonna get a better refund than your average consumer. Not cool, not cool at all. I would be contacting Beauty Bay and saying, no, everybody is getting this made right or my brand is leaving. End of story. Jeffree Star has probably enough people begging and clawing and wanting to sell his products. He doesn't need to put up with subpar 
people. My opinion. I I have been lusting after the MMM Mitchell palette forever. Every time it comes back into stock, I miss it, and I want that palette so bad. It is only being sold from Beauty Bay. As far as I know, he may have his own website, but Canada, shipping, Lord have mercy. I will not buy it from Beauty Bay. I will not buy anything from Beauty Bay because I'm seeing how they're handling these problems. I am going to go into diet root beer, start building up my crease. So many of these problems of the drama of everything that seems to come up, issues, stem from customer service. Now, obviously, I've purchased my fair share of cosmetics in my life. Being in Canada, I have to do a lot of that online. Like we don't have a Morphe store right near me. I don't have an Ulta right near me. Like I purchased, for example, actually I'll give you a few examples. I purchased highlighters from Nady at Pop Lux. When I got my first order, one was one or two, I ordered a lot. Anyway, there was an issue. There were some that were one or two that were broken, right? I expect, half expect that to happen, shipping to Canada. So you know what, I reached out to Nady. I didn't know him, he didn't know me. Like I don't even think I had 100 subscribers at the time. Um, and right away, right away, there was a response. It was like, so sorry this happened, your replacement's on its way. Like there was no, send me pitch. I think I did send pictures just because, but I always do, I'm so used to this, but there was no send back the, the highlighter or send me pictures or I'm only gonna give you a fraction or there was none of that. It was just, I'm gonna make this right, get it done. And you know what? I still support him. I love his products. I will support him knowing that if there ever is an issue, it'll be rectified. I won't be hung out to dry, to wait, to see avoidance, any of that. That's how customer service should be. I've also had, what was it from Beautylish? Was it a, from Beautylish, I either had a forgotten item or a broken item. They wanted a picture, which I understand, and they made it right. They shipped out the new item. Everybody's happy. Sephora's 50-50, a lot of times, I'm gonna go into my apology just on the outer corner of my lid. Sephora has been dicey for me sometimes. Sometimes it's not a problem and they send you out a new one everything's great. Sometimes they've requested the item be returned. And then again, it's the issue of paying to send it back. And that's what ticks me off the most, right? I've received a defective item. You want me to ship it back, but now I'm out the cost of the shipping that I've already paid to get it to me, but now I've got to pay it again to get it back to you. I hate that. I hate shipping issues. Hate it. So, ColourPop, I addressed that in my video yesterday where I had received the palette missing a shadow completely. Like it wasn't even in the backs, nothing. It was not in the palette. They offered like a small percentage of a discount. No, that's not right. I want the palette. That's why I ordered the palette. I didn't order eight shades out of a nine shade palette. I ordered the palette. I've heard great things about ColourPop. Um, I'm just going to try to bring this up in the crease too. I've heard great things about ColourPop customer service. I have not experienced that myself personally. So speaking only on my experiences, of course. Ulta, I have not had good experiences with. Now again, it's not going into the store because we don't have Ultas here. So mine have been issues such as ordering something online and it's not showed up. That's been an issue and I was so upset about it because it was um, 
a couple of Lorac palettes because we can't get Lorac here in Canada and it didn't ship and then they're like oh well we don't have that bundle anymore so it's like too bad so sad I was they're like we only charged you for the one we didn't charge you for the bundle well I didn't want the one I wanted the bundle and a few quite a few videos ago y'all saw that nasty eyeliner I got they never addressed it nothing so Ulta's customer service is lacking in my opinion as well hot look again shipping if you order if I were to order something on hot look today I might get it in a month might and I've had issues where I've ordered from them. They haven't shipped the product. They no longer have the product, so they can't receive it. So they give you a credit or they'll say, oh, well, free shipping. But then you're still having to spend all this money to regain what you put out in the first place. You're not making the situation whole. Beautylish too. Beautylish. You order from them, they make situations right. And it's super, super, super fast. I cannot say enough good. So now I am going to go into the exposed and do the inner part of my lid so that one is a lot more powdery now I'm not sure if it's because I stuck my finger in there to swatch it but just something to note back to the if I had my own brand so first off if you're comparing the Jaclyn Hill Jeffree Star issues issues the difference is one of the differences is you have on one hand Jaclyn Hill She's problematic on her own. Take the brand out of it. She's problematic on her own. She lies and lies and lies. She, she's not an established enough brand as far as Jacqueline Cosmetics. Her brand being herself is established and it doesn't have the best track record. You have on the other hand, Jeffree Star, who's problematic, seems to have made up, righted his wrongs in most cases, all depending who you talk to, of course. And you have Shane, who is not problematic at all. So, and Jeff and Jeffree Star is so established. He has the rapport of quality products, good customer service. There's just such a difference there in brands. So if I had my own brand, I'm not gonna want a problematic influencer pimping my stuff. Like, if I had the option between Jaclyn Hill and Shane Dawson, and Shane's not even established in the makeup world, but as far as YouTube personalities, like their brands, I'm going to choose Shane Dawson. Let's go into my boyfriend's purse and layer that on the inner corner. The other problem with Jaclyn Hill is she is unapologetically a Morphe babe. And she has stated this over and over again that she will forever be a Morphe babe. She will always chill Morphe. Always. But then she also wants that separation between Jaclyn Cosmetics or Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics or whatever name she's going under today and Morphe. If you can't separate yourself, people are always going to have you together. That's why when she's got these brushes with this new highlighter Christmas thing she's got coming out, Everybody's first thought is, those are Morphe brushes. Everybody's first thought is, oh, those highlighters are from Morphe. Either distance yourself or bring them together and just do you. I am going to deepen, you know, I'm going to try to go a little monochromatic. I'm going to go into my apology and bring it up into the crease a bit more. Like if you don't want to be connected to a brand, don't be connected to a brand. And if you want to be connected to a brand, do it wholeheartedly. And I think it's only business savvy to do that. Anyway, I have babbled on way, way long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the rest of my face. <laughs> because like I said, ugh, it is already late in the day. Well, late in the morning. I've got to get ready. So I'm going to finish my face, come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I just quick finished my face. What I didn't do, though, I just realized, and I meant to do it, was smoke out my lower lash line. I think I'll smoke it out with my apology. 
have to say the mirror in these palettes is awesome for a palette mirror. Mung my eyelid. It's one of those days we're going with it. So I finished my eye look, everything out of this palette. I lined my lids using this Tartiest Double Take Eyeliner in Black. I use this all the time. I'm going to have to get another one. I used Charlotte Tilbury Fatful Lashes for mascara. I've been really liking this. It's a drier formula though, so something to be aware of. It can get a little clumpy if you're trying to reapply, reapply too close together. I blushed, highlighted, contoured all with this Makeup Geek palette, Flawlessly Ever After Bronze Baroness Face Palette. Love these shades. The contour is probably a little dark, but again, I go from like non-existent, can't see it, too dark, I'll start mixing them, figure out the right way. On my lips, I have Jeffrey Shane Dawson in I Gotta Go. I'm not usually a fan. I'll admit, I'm not a fan of metallic liquid lips. If you have older lips, it will sometimes settle down into those fine lines, accentuate lines, sometimes doesn't look all that good. This one I love, and I'm not usually even a fan of this color, but I love this. I've been wearing this so much. Jeffree's metallics aren't bad. Um, Gerard Cosmetics, I have... Which one is it? Anyway, I have a couple of hers, and they're great. Love those as well. And I set using my Slay All Day in Cucumber. Don't forget to go check out Gerard Cosmetics' website for their Black Friday sales. Also, check out uh, Costco.com. They've got some exclusive bundles there that you're going to want to check out. I don't believe you can use codes over there. From the Gerard Cosmetics website, you can. My code is Glowing Beauty Addiction, or you can use code Rescue, which helps all the, the fur babies in Jen's area. So, final thoughts, quick wrap up of what my take on this whole situation is. First off, I don't think compares, comparing it to Jaclyn Hill's Lipstick Gate is fair at all. Contamination, contamination, but they're not the same. My opinion. Secondly, customer service, people. Just customer service. If I had my own brand, I think I would make sure that I have the absolute best customer service team in place before I even started to worry about influencers or anything. I want people happy. Looking at a picture might make somebody happy. Getting a product might make somebody happy. But what happens if they're not happy with the product? You need that customer service team, caring team in place. I don't know that Jaclyn Hill is going to be able to separate herself enough from Morphe to make Jaclyn Cosmetics go. Either merge the two or separate yourself completely. That's my thoughts. And until I receive my conspiracy palette, I'm gonna reserve judgment. I have my controversy. There is nothing wrong with it at all. So as far as I'm concerned, I still love it. I love Jeffrey's products. We'll go from there. On side notes, I, I'm very much considering starting a Patreon but I want feedback on, is it something you guys are interested in? What would you want to see on there? Do you want more of a podcast type thing? Do you want me to do reaction videos to things, live streams, vlogs? You give me your ideas. Also, on the, the book of things coming up, I am working on a bit of an Onion Boy thing that's going to be on my second channel just because there's a history of him striking videos pertaining to him and I don't need that to happen on my main channel so that will be on my second channel as well as researching anti-MLM still internet seems to be back up today so fingers crossed that to get this loaded I don't have to make two trips to Starbucks and go sit in a shopping mall parking lot to get wi-fi to edit to all this stuff Anyway, not your guys' concerns, completely mine, and I'm going to own that. So anyway, let me know what you think down below of this whole 
I don't know, trying to make a big deal out of contamination and breakage of Jeffrey and Shane's palettes. Let me know what companies have you had really great customer service with, as well as what have you not had good customer service with. For me, I want to call out the great companies like Beautylish and Poplux just as much as I want to say, you know what, Beauty Bay leaves a little to be desired, right? I, th I believe in making things equal. If I have bad to say, I want to find something good as well and try to. If I can't, then there's obviously an issue, right? Please make sure you like, share if you feel so inclined, and until next time, I love you all so much. Bye.